Sometimes I'm just wondering, what the hell am I even watching? So during this episode of SmackDown, we saw the return of Madcap Moss. That was quite a transformation from a soy boy to a Chad. Although me looking like this, calling someone looking like this a soy boy, probably ain't right. And while the attire is basically a WWE 2K create a superstar template, can't get any more basic than that. At least he's not wearing suspenders anymore. And then we saw the entrance, he got a new WWE theme song and it sounds as generic as possible. Possible. That YouTube audio library is still going hard, huh? I'm honestly sick of this. You guys know how important music is in wrestling. Like I've said, Alex Riley was the perfect example. He maybe wasn't your favorite wrestler, but his theme song made you believe that maybe he ain't that bad. Another interesting change was WWE bringing back the intro. WWE are so random with these things, like, you won't be seeing that intro next week, I swear. And this is another example of we don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> is she on Raw or is she on SmackDown? One thing's for sure, she loves America. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Wrestling GM. I know how much y'all love GM mode, but if you want a GM mode with no limitations, Wrestling GM is a great choice. What I like about this game is that it basically gives you all the tools you need. Pick your promotion, manage your roster, championships, you can upgrade your product, build teams, factions, rivalries, check your show's history, sign free agents, and much more. And of course, try your best to book the best wrestling show possible. And it's a game I've already played on my channel, I had a lot of fun. If you want to check out Wrestling GM series on my channel, click on the playlist by using the link in the description. Wrestling GM is available on both iOS and Android devices. Download the game by using the link in the description. You're so hard on AEW, WWE, you think you can book a better show. Well, prove it. Download the game. Welcome back to another episode of Greatness of Smackdown, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing today? So Smackdown hyped the Undisputed Tag Team Championship and the show kicked off with the New Day. They were here to discuss their victory against the Brawling Brutes. Kofi finds the name funny. And it's all thanks to Drew McIntyre. McIntyre sends a special shout out to Biggie watching at home and he will keep sending him these pictures. You might be wondering what kind of pictures and yes, I know the answer. <laughs> McIntyre says he will beat Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at Clash at the Castle. When was this even announced? Did Drew McIntyre just book himself in a championship match? What is happening at this point? Where's Roman? Why is WWE so boring? <laughs> Drew calls himself Big D. That obviously stands for Big Dick. He was about to explain what it stands for, but New Day said it's a family show, but what does that shirt mean? Kneel to the steel means when you go down on your- Whoa, 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 Drew. Enough. Bunch of dick jokes. You guys know me. I appreciate that. I find it funny. I find it entertaining. My whole channel is built on PP jokes. On this channel, Coco Jumbo Mania is running wild. They have a present for Drew McIntyre. It's not his birthday yet. It's a piece of clothing. It's underwear that says Big D. It's kind of funny. It's like if underwear would have a spoiler. This underwear basically ruins the surprise. But is it being honest? Hmm. Then we saw the brawling brutes. And this turned into a six-man tag team match. The match was actually pretty entertaining. Like I've said... It doesn't feel important, that's the vibe I'm getting from SmackDown lately. You know, it just feels like I'm watching main event. None of this really matters. The match itself was fine though. But the Brawling Brutes defeated the New Day and Drew McIntyre. That was actually quite unexpected. So even though I feel like this is very unimportant and it's really hard to get invested, I do like this pairing. I like Drew McIntyre being with the New Day, especially with the PP pee, pee jokes. Maybe that's all we need. A bunch of dingly dongly jokes. I don't know. But it's kind of funny, you know, they have a lot of chemistry. It keeps Drew McIntyre busy while Roman Reigns is walking around naked in an island, so I don't mind it. Riddle and Shinsuke Nakamura are starting to appreciate each other. I really hope this turns into a bigger romance than Randy Orton and Riddle. Because then Randy Orton would return and he would be jealous. He won't admit it, you know, he's like, you know, Riddle, he seems like you have a bunch of stupid friends, you made a lot of friends, so maybe, maybe the stack team is not gonna work anymore, Riddle, you stupid son of a, Riddle, stupid, stupid, I don't know what I'm doing, jealous Randy is what we need right now, Adam Pierce was talking about his balls on the phone, Max Dupree interrupts, takes the phone and says, it's not Max Dupree, it's Max Dupree, I don't know what, what is going on, like, so <laughs> Am I booking this show? Why is it so weird? Max Dupree reveals that he finally found a member for Maximum Male Models. 
I'm calling it right now, Shanky. So why don't you just reveal it? Well, next week. Max Dupree reminds me of a adult film director. Then we saw Los Lotharios with a kiss cam and Jinder Mahal telling Shanky to stop dancing. Stop with the major Coco Jumbo vibes, Shanky. It's time to get serious. Shanky didn't listen. Now, all of the dancing was actually valuable. Jinder got distracted but didn't get pinned. Then Humberto got distracted and Jinder Mahal picked up the W. Shanky was like, let's dance, Jinder. But Jinder, while being happy, didn't dance. Major Dingly Dongly vibes continued and Ricochet's relationship is in danger again. It's like this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen but I don't mind it. Like Shanky, I, I, you couldn't tell at first, you know, but he's really entertaining, he's really charming. Shanky has a lot of personality, a lot of charisma. Before his six-pack challenge, Aaliyah got locked in the locker room, but once the match started, she came back. Uh, this was the most underwhelming thing I've seen on this show. The match was quite short, but that's not the problem I have. It was still kinda entertaining, but Natalia picked up the W, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna be Natalia versus Ronda Rousey at... somewhere down the line. That's exactly what they said. Sometime... maybe. We'll see. Natalia versus Ronda. You, you could give me any female right now on the roster. It would be more entertaining than Natalia versus Ronda. Natal, I respect Natalia for all the accomplishments, for every everything she did, you know, in this division. But at this point, who honestly gives a crap? Then we saw the return of Madcap Moss. And he got smashed with that trophy. It's like something changed. All he keeps thinking about is beating the crap out of Baron Corbin. He's all business now. But Corbin says, you don't actually feel that way. You just miss me. You want to beg for your job back. Moss says that's not happening. Corbin says we're not gonna fight. Adam Pierce with the big ball says yes you will. We saw the match uh, which ended in disqualification. Happy Corbin grabbed the chair. Madcap Moss took it and got disqualified because the match is not what he cares about. He cares about beating Baron Corbin's arse. After the match Corbin says thank god you're here Adam. You're going to suspend him right? Well what you did last time was worse so uh nope. Instead you're going to face Madcap Moss at Hell in a Cell in a no hold barred match. Adam Pierce is not a pushover. You don't tell him what to do. If you asked for a no holds barred match at Hell in a Cell, he would say no. Instead, I'm going to suspend him. Adam Pierce ain't gonna listen to you. So yeah, this gimmick change is appreciated, definitely, but oh boy, it seems like WWE did this whole thing in like an hour. They gave him the most basic underwear, the most basic theme song, the most basic trance, and it's like, yes, it's, it's more serious, that's what I appreciate, but can we just put in a bit more thought into music? Please. Gantha wants the Intercontinental Championship. He wants to bring back the prestige to the Intercontinental Championship. I'm here for it. A lot of people are saying we should get Gunther versus John Cena for the Intercontinental Championship at SummerSlam or WrestleMania. That sounds pretty cool because John Cena never held the Intercontinental Championship, so the story is kind of there, you know. He would be like, I accomplished everything except for the Intercontinental title. And these people right here, these people... They make the calls, these people right here want this. And then it was time for the main event, the Usos vs. Rill and Shinsuke Nakamura for Undisputed Tag Team Championships. The match was actually pretty fun, predictable, sure, but kinda enjoyable. Shinsuke got injured pretty early in the match when he was looking for the Kinshasa, but hit the steel steps instead. So then it was all Riddle vs. the Usos for like around 8 minutes. But this didn't stop Riddle, actually it seemed like he would have won the match. He was looking for the super RKO, Roman Reigns music hits. You can tell Riddle is high because we all know Roman Reigns ain't here. So he got distracted, but we saw a tag. RKO, Uso Splash, and the Usos retained the WWE Undisputed Tag Team Championships. Turns out it was actually Sami Zayn who played the music. Maybe it was also Sami Zayn who did 59,000 camera cuts during the match, I don't know. Riddle attacked Sami Zayn, but the Usos actually helped him. That was kinda interesting. Maybe after all, Sami Zayn is an oos. Riddle is devastated. So that was your SmackDown, like, yeah, this was a big match, but oh boy, it just didn't feel important. Man, SmackDown, SmackDown needs a change, like, SmackDown needs something. It's getting worse every single month. But thank you for watching this video, The Great One. Peace, love, and hugs. It's been a pleasure.